chess and treasure. That is what today's episode and guide is all about choice chess. This is going to be the ultimate guide for you here today. So thank you for tuning in as we cover everything about choice chess. We're going to break these awesome epic legendary treasures down we'll give you some tips and tricks and give you all the information that you need to know about choice chess today so thank you for tuning in if you happen to have a question or comment throughout today's episode you let me know down below or come swing by the discord server and say hello to the community now with that again appreciate you tuning in let's give you all the information that you're going to need here to be successful on choice chess so first off I need to go through these here today, and I wanna give you all the best strategies on how to utilize your choice chests, when you're thinking about when to use them, how you should use them, because there is a plethora of things from epics to legendaries and lots of considerations to be made and a good strategy in terms of thinking about some of those things. So first off, let's break down what exactly choice chests are. That is right. Here's what we got going on when it comes to choice chess. So I'm gonna leverage the Cookie Run Kingdom Wiki here to walk you through all these things. The first thing about choice chess to know is that these are items rewarded by events that allow the player um, to choose what to receive. So that's a huge thing. So it's not just getting one piece, you can pick the right piece that's gonna be the best for you. Now, they also can't be sold. So keep that in mind, they're gonna stay in your storage, which is why I started in the storage. Now, the contents of the choice chest will not be updated after it's acquired. Now, I did try to do this. I tried to hang on to it for a long time. I hoarded my choice chest and yeah, really shouldn't have been doing that. At least depends. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. If a player chooses a cookie that they already have fully promoted, they will receive soul cores instead of soul stones. Boom. Now, I think that's a key one there for you as you consider and build out your team and build out your cookies and everything else here on Cookie Run Kingdom. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Now, there are several different kinds of chests. We got cookies, we got other, and then we have crossover events. In terms of the cookies, you have both soul stones and full cookies, all the way from epic, super epic, ancient, and legendary there, as you can see in the type of chest. Now, in the other side here, we do have the, uh, the crystals of choice or the sugar crystals, skill powders, resonant ingredients these are for your magic candies we have epic toppings of choice so you can pick uh, better toppings and then additionally the special costume of choice as well and then lastly crossover events so we've had the guest cookie of choice we got the bts um, soul stones bts cookies bts costumes and other choice chests there for costume number two so those are all the different chests that, that are available to you right now in the game and very important to understand. Again, pulling this one back here, they are found in your storage, rewarded by events. If you get them, they're not gonna give you new cookies as the updates or expansions come out here. And then lastly, if you have a fully baked cookie, um, you're gonna get soul cores instead of soul stones. So those are all very, very important pieces there to understand. So now when it comes to some of the strategies for these particular chests, how should you be thinking about it? Well, the first one that we wanna talk about is obviously um, the soul cores and the soul stones. So a good example here in terms of why you might wanna hoard some of these things. So if we look at this choice chest here, we got three ancient stars, um, soul stones of choice, we got six kinds. We can choose only one. Now we're not gonna use that one. But if we go look at my cookies, we almost have some of them max. Now you can certainly use them now towards the cookies that you want to and save them later. Um, or you can think about saving them um, to get the soul cores. It, or, so a good example would be you know, certain cookies where you can't farm. Yes, that's right, so don't forget that. So when we do go to our play here and we go to world exploration again, when we talk about master mode and we go into this one as an example, you might not wanna use your soul cores on something like licorice here. Um, I would find a cookie that you might not have access to in terms of those because you can sit and farm these as an example or if you're really dedicated to licorice, then you can use them there. In terms of our um, 
legendaries and ancients a good strategy would be if you don't if you don't have them um, certainly it might be a consideration to use um, obviously if you want to go and promote them as well but i kind of like that idea of the soul course so um, something to keep in mind now again when we move over to the cookies here as an example for the epics you can see we get a full cookie um, summoning here from the cookie one additionally we got 53 kinds all the way here we get to 51 so like it said the newer ones are right here older ones are right there same holds true um, for the different epic soul stones so this one has six kinds looks like it's broken um, we'll leave it at that here's 50 10 epic soul stones of 50 and here we go 44 so you can see that as well uh, in terms of what they have so those are all good ideas in terms of doing that again maxing out a specific cookie um, that you might not be able to farm as readily additionally again on those soul cores kind of a focus the next one here is the magic candies so again resident ingredients of choice choose between these definitely going to speed things up so something to think about there depending on what you've been building particularly some of these older ones as you can see here um, and different choices that we have in the different versions you might want to consider what you're building out um, so that you don't end up uh, running into problems like we have here with vampire where you can't choose that one anymore because we already have plenty um, next when we talk about the skill powder so that is a lot of skill powders I like this one a lot. I don't think you have to worry too much about saving on these. Um, if you ever just want to use them, again, good ones to just choose in general are going to be um, your charge powders, your magic powders, um, ambush, uh, pristine. We get we get a lot of these uh, support. We get a lot of these um, and a lot of these. So things to consider and right now lots of defense. So you can always store them that way um, in terms of those things or what you can do is exactly what I'm going to do here and show you right now. We have Moonlight Cookie. Now we may may these stars guide you through your dreams. Absolutely. We need we need some of that um, right here in terms of upgrading. So here we still need Pristine Magic Powder. So in order to get our Pristine Magic Powder Ooh, we're gonna go ahead and crack some of those Ooh, wherever you are there we go pristine magic powder there we go 16 we'll claim it there we go there's our five and then we would keep going that's how you're going to max these things out really quickly um, in terms of what you have now that might still take me a few clicks to get through let's go ahead and we'll grab it there we go Boom, I still think we need quite a few. Lots of claiming. Now certainly we could go grab our 60 friend here. There we go, why not? I like all of you. We'll use it up. Go back to our cookie. Boom, upgrade. Oh, we're gonna get a couple there. Two more. Now, you would keep going and close that out as an example in order to max out uh, Moonlight Cookie. Again, same is going to hold true as you go through. That's a great way um, to apply in the terms of our soul cores here. Um, when it comes to cotton, this is where we could use all our epics, pull a bunch of cottons, and get cotton maxed out there uh, in terms of this cookie fully ascended, um, which can definitely make a huge difference in your progression and a huge difference for your cookies. So those are some considerations there to make. Let's go back to our storage here. Um, so we oops, so we talked about uh, the cookies, we talked about the powders, we talked about the magic candy ones. Um, again, here we go in terms of the BTS. So here's an example of the BTS cookies that you can use. Um, also an example of what you can use uh, in terms of the lovely costumes there. Um, and then we have our other kind of choice chests, really, they just show these um, in terms of picking out some of these new awesome toppings um, that we have. So those are all key considerations. Um, one other thing I want to show you here is these events. So again, as it talked about in terms of the events, let's go ahead and claim that. Um, 
in order to get a chest, this is a perfect example on how you can get pristine skill powder right here and get five units of it. So those chests that I was cracking were from these daily missions. A great way to continue um, to build out your cookies, make investment for your daily activities that you're using and get rewarded with this chest. Now, certainly there's other chests that you will get throughout on other events uh, and things to keep in mind as you progress and as you think about uh, spending your time on these events. So let's pull this all back together here in terms of what we have. So we broke down all these amazing chests and things to consider. How you can think about using your cookies, your soul stones into soul cores, depending on where you're at in your progression. Um, tips and tricks from that perspective. We talked about some of the magic candies. Uh, we talked about some of the other powders here for the pristine uh, skill powders of choice and where it might be a good idea to apply them um, or how to think about leveraging it for your particular team. And we walk through the overview of all these different chests. Again, key considerations, um, they're locked and they're locked by when you get them um, with different kinds there, 44. They don't increase, as we said, you can't sell these chests. Um, also, as, as we talked about, and then we talked about that key transition between soul stones and soul cores. Um, let me know if you have questions. There's a ton of stuff in this guide. I'm very excited to have brought this one here and pull it together for you today. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your likes, your subs, as we continue to grow this community and your support. Great ways to stay connected. And we got a ton of Cookie Run Kingdom content here on the channel. If you have questions, comments, let me know. Swing by the Discord server. Come say hello. All right, cookies. With that said, we got a full-blown ultimate choice chess guide pulled together for you here today. Stay tuned because we got a ton more Cookie Run Kingdom content headed your way.